In this example, we're told a person is five feet eight inches tall. We want to find their height in inches, centimeters, and meters. So if the person is five feet eight inches tall, their height would be the same as five feet plus eight inches, which means if we convert five feet to inches, this sum will give us the height in inches. So we'll start by converting five feet to inches using the conversion that one foot is equal to 12 inches. To do the conversion, we'll use unit fractions. So we'll write five feet as a fraction, which would be five feet over one. We're gonna multiply by a unit fraction to do the conversion using the fact that 12 inches equals one foot. Since we want feet to simplify out of this product, feet must be in the denominator and inches must be in the numerator. If we have feet in the numerator and feet in the denominator, those units will simplify out. So now using the conversion, we know one foot is equal to 12 inches, and therefore we're just multiplying by one, but changing units. So feet over feet simplify out. And this product converts five feet to inches. Five times 12 inches is equal to 60 inches. which means five feet eight inches is equal to 60 inches plus eight inches, which is equal to 68 inches. So this is the first part of the problem. The height in inches is 68 inches. And now for the next part, we also want to express the height in centimeters. So now we'll convert 68 inches to centimeters using the conversion one inch is approximately equal to 2.540 centimeters. So we want to find out approximately how many centimeters is equal to 68 inches. And we are asked to round to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. And again, we'll do this conversion using unit fractions. So we'll start with 68 inches, write it as 68 inches over one. We're gonna multiply by a unit fraction using this conversion. We want inches to simplify out of the product Therefore, inches must be in the denominator and centimeters must be in the numerator. And now we'll use the conversion. One inch is approximately equal to 2.540 centimeters. Notice that the units of inches simplifies out. Therefore, this product will give us our conversion. Notice our denominator is equal to one. So now we'll go to the calculator, 68 times 2.540, run it to the nearest tenth, would be 172.7 centimeters. So five feet eight inches, or 68 inches, is approximately 172.7 centimeters. Now for the last question, we want to find the height in meters. So now we'll convert 172.7 centimeters to meters. So again, we'll use a unit fraction. So we have 172.7 centimeters over one. And the conversion is one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we're going to multiply by a unit fraction where now centimeters will be in the denominator and meters will be in the numerator. And the conversion is 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. Again, notice how the units of centimeters simplifies out. So we're left with 172.7 meters divided by 100. Dividing by 100 is the same as moving the decimal point to the left two places. So we can say that 172.7 centimeters is equal to 1.727 meters. Of course, if we need to, we can check this on the calculator. Notice in this example, because we had a denominator, we would have to perform division. 172.7 divided by 100 is 1.727. Before we go, let's go ahead and summarize this. 
we found 5 feet 8 inches is equal to 68 inches. We also found that 5 feet 8 inches is approximately equal to 172.7 centimeters. And we also found that 5 feet 8 inches is approximately 1.727 meters. Okay, hope you found this explanation helpful.